The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. It was a Hilgi Yid from Yerushalayim that was talking and reminiscing about his youth. He says when he was eight years old, his father, Nebuch, was killed in a terrible accident. And he grew up a Yassim, and he had nothing. His mother worked for a few grosh in a day just to put bread on the table, and that's all they had was bread. And when he became bar mitzvah, he went to his mother, and he says, Ma, everybody's having a little venesrig. I also want a little venesrig. And his mother said, I'm so sorry. I don't have money for anything. I have for bread. That's it. He says, you get an allowance, take from your allowance, go collect, do whatever you have to, and put together money for a little of an answer. I can't help you. So that's what I did. This guy is saying, this older man is reminiscing from when he was a kid. He says, that's exactly what I did. I went, and I got a few cupcakes here, and a few cupcakes there. I schlepped for somebody some stuff from the market home, and he gave me a few groschen, and I put together a few dollars, or whatever it was then, lira, to buy a little Vanessa. It came the day before Yom Tif and I went to the Shuk to buy. And I come there, and there's a guy, and he's selling love and Esregim, Erev Yom Tif prices. And it says there, Esreg Mahuda, two lira. I looked, I got, I got two lira, and they gave me for the Esreg, they gave me also a lula for Nasim and Aravis. And I was so happy. But I knew that just because it says Mahuda doesn't mean it's kosher, I gotta go to the Rav. So I went and I slept to the other side of Yerushalayim and I take the Esrig and I go to Ramot Chaliyal and I'm waiting in line someone says what do you have there? he says I have an Esrig oh, wow. or are you coming to the Esther Rav? I'm coming to the Esther Rav the box says Mahudar I want to know if it's Mahudar if it's true he says what do you think? he says I didn't look at it yet he says, are you crazy? You have to, before you go into the Rav, you have to open it up. You have to open it up and make sure it's Mahudar. So he opened up the box, the Esrik box, and he took one look at the Esrik and he saw it was not the Mahudar. There's nothing to talk about. This Esrik is not a Mahudar, the Esrik. There's no way he's even waiting online. He was so Mavuza. But he was so upset. A guy went and sold me an Esrik. I paid two lira. I worked so hard to put together all the money for the Esrik. And now, it's not even a Mahudah, he's a liar, a Ganif. I have to ask a child, maybe it is Mahudah, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. So he went online, and he came, finally came his turn, he came to Ramot Chaliyahu. And he says, Kvod Rav, can you please tell me if this Esrug is Mahudah? Ramot Chaliyahu took the Esrug and he turned it over upside down, and he twirled it and twirled it and twirled it. And, twirled it. and he tells him finally, it's Kasha. So the boy said, Rebbe, I know it's Kasha. I wonder if it's Mahudah. And he twirls it around again and again and again. And he tells him again, and don't worry, it's kosher. And when he got the second time on kosher, he knew very well that it wasn't Mahudah. And he was broken. He was shot to pieces. And he took the esrig and put it back into the box, and he started to cry. And he left, and he starts walking down the steps. And he's about to walk out of the house, and he feels a tap on his shoulder. Who is it? The Gabbai. The Rav she wants you. He gets back up and he walks back up the steps and he comes into the Rav Rashi. The Rav Rashi tells him, I see how much you really want to be Mahadr in the mitzvah of Esrig. I want to make you a deal. I want to switch Esregim with you. I'm going to give you my Esrig, the Mahadr, and you give me your Esrig. So the Seed says, I was so embarrassed. It was not Gishmak. I'm going to take the Rav's Esrig. What am I, crazy? And the Rav's rubbing my shoulder and telling me, no, I want to make a switch. True, you make me so happy. I want to shake on your esterig. Give me your esterig, please. I'll give you mine. I felt I had no choice. I gave him my esterig. And he took my esterig. The next morning, I come to shul. And I want to see what's going to happen. And the Rav comes into shul. And before Halal, he sticks his hand into a shopping bag. And he takes out a box, and he opens it up, and he takes out an esrig. And you know what his esrig it was? It was my esrig! And I watched how the Rav made a bracha on my esrig. And now he says, now it's 50 years later. And now I'm thinking about what Ramot Chaliyahu did. And the message to me was, 
so special. The Rav knew that I'm going to come tomorrow to see which Esther I'm, I, I, I have. And the Rav wanted to show me that he was more mahader to be Misameach Yosem than he was to be mahader in the midst of Yoptif of having a nice Esther. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.